This is going to be a bit more of an informal video where I'm just going to give some general advice on staking, but also some more practical tips and tricks and where to go on Coinbase to start staking, particularly if you're new to staking. But let's go on the advanced view on the bottom left here. And there is actually a staking page. If I go on the earn tab here, this is a one-stop shop for everything to do with staking, which I recommend you bookmark and check if you are actually staking coins. But yes, it does have some general overall stats here. And then it shows you all the coins that you have invested in. So this is every coin you have at least one cent in and the current amount of annual interest. So a couple of things here, I suppose the main question would be, especially for a beginner, is what is staking and how does it work in Coinbase? So staking is kind of similar to just annual interest from a savings account, a bit like with a bank, but obviously it's more risky than a bank, but it's the same kind of concept. So with Atom here, I'm getting 16 0.36 annual interest. So I'm getting 16% back on anything I've invested in, which is very high. In the UK, at least, it's like maybe 3 or 4% on a savings account. So this is obviously much higher, but the risk is that I have to put money into a crypto asset that could change price. So there's quite a few factors to consider. I'm going to go through some of the more low risk coins to invest in the staking up to the higher risk ones. But what I want to also mention is that the amount of interest, the annual interest rate can change. So this can just change on a day-to-day -day basis and you might not get notified. I don't believe Coinbase emails you. It just changes from day to day. An example here is with Polkadot. This used to have about 20% annual interest, but it's actually dropped in recent months to just 6.95. So it can change quite a lot. So anyway, let's go on to some specific examples. I have to actually turn off advanced view. It's just the way Coinbase is laid out right now, but it's easier to go back onto my assets page and just go into the individual wallets. But I am going to go on to the cash section because I want to talk about USDC. USDC, for those who don't know, it's US dollar coin and it's a stable coin. And as the name suggests, the price of this coin stays at $1 the price does not change. It's just always $1, right? And this would be my recommendation for a starter coin for staking because it's virtually no risk involved in this. So as you can see, I just have $7 in this because I've been trading a lot, but I usually have a lot more. But the way this works is that USDC coin, it only has one wallet. This primary wallet is the only wallet it has. It means it has soft staking which means that any money in this coin is then automatically staked you don't have to manually put money into the staking wallet it's just automatically staked no matter what so it makes it super convenient as well so any money i happen to have in this coin then has 4.75 percent interest which is pretty high so it's low risk if you want to put like a hundred dollars into this coin the price won't change, but you will get the annual interest amount. What I should also mention is that the 4.7% is higher because I have the Coinbase One premium subscription, as you can see by this logo. So I'm paying money every month to have a higher interest rate. So yours might be, I believe, 410 if you have the standard account. But you can see stats like the pending rewards, lifetime earnings, things like that. If I go on to payouts, it can show you the rewards you actually get for the staking. So for each coin, it has a different schedule. So for this one, it's every month. It gives you the monthly interest. And it just gives you as a transaction receive, as you can see like this. What's great is that you can compound interest. So any money you get from staking is then also staked. So in theory, it is compound interest. So it's very simple. Let's go back to a more risky example. Let's go on to Tezos. As you can see, Tezos is not a stable coin. It changes price quite a lot. It's an alternative coin, so it is very volatile. But as you can see here, you have to manually stake more uh, if you want to stake it into the staking wallet. I've staked everything here, but there is usually a button that has down here that says stake more. And then you would manually select money to stake and then lock it in. 
but because I've got everything in the staking wallet, I can only unstake. But you do have to manually stake any of your crypto. And it has a fairly decent annual interest amount, 6.43. But here's the thing, if I go on this button, it gives me the current stats. So it's the unstaking wait time that you wanna look into the most. So it's basically as it says, if you want to then take money out and put it into your primary balance to then sell or trade, you have to wait two days. So it makes things a bit more tricky. If I wanna put say two grand into Tezos staking and then the price goes up, I'm stuck waiting two days before I can then have it freed up to sell. So definitely keep that in mind. But the reason why I have quite a lot of money in Tezos is because the unstaking amount is quite low still. Two days isn't too bad and you're getting 6.43. So to me, that's quite a good deal. But let's go on to something a bit more risky. Solana, again, a very volatile coin and it's got a higher amount of interest, 7.4 but the catch is it has a higher unstaking time at five days. What I'll also mention is two things here. First of all, this is just an estimate and also mentions it down here. It can actually take less time or it can take more time. In some cases, it's taken like a few days more. So it's actually something you can't put in your calendar. It just varies, but it should be roughly five days in this case. It, this also changes as well. Sometimes the whole amount of unstaking time can change as well. It just it just depends on the day-to-day -day of what's happening. But also the second thing is that the time you're waiting, the five days in this case that you're waiting, you're still earning interest on the coins you're trying to take out as well. So that's an added little bonus here. And then lastly, I want to talk about Cosmos, aka Atom, that I was also mentioning before. This is the coin that has the very high 16% interest. But the catch here is that it has one of the highest unstaking times at 25 days. And actually this used to be about 40 days a while ago, but it has changed. So this means that it makes it impossible to day trade this because you have to wait 25 days, which is an eternity for crypto trading. So let's say I invest in it when it's quite a low price and then suddenly it goes up to an all time high. I can't trade on that because I have to wait 25 days. If it goes into a really high price, I'm like, oh, great. I have to then wait 25 days to free up my assets to then trade, at which point it could go back down again. So it means that this kind of coin, I'd recommend to put in assets that you don't need to spend, like spare assets as a long-term investment. So I'm putting money into this purely as a long-term investment to then get the interest and maybe wait two years and then sell it. So I'd only recommend using this for long-term investments rather than the coins you wanna use for day trading. But the last thing I wanna show is if you go on the My Assets page and then go right to the bottom, it gives you another useful summary on staking. So out of all of my portfolio, it tells me how much I have staked across all my coins. And then it also gives me some stats on how much in terms of USDC that I'm actually unstaking right now. So the amount I'm waiting to unstake, this is actually my polka dot. So I'm waiting 25 days. And then it gives you the similar stats as the other page where it has my average rate and total lifetime earnings. But it's another quick stat to reference there. So that's all very handy. But yes, as I mentioned, a bit more of a different video where I just want to give some more theory and advice on staking. Obviously, I'm not a professional at crypto. I'm not a trading professional, I'm not a financial professional. So this is not official advice, but it's just my recommendation. If you want to take it, I'll leave it. If you do want to ask some more questions, please leave it in the comments. Or if you want me to make another video on Coinbase or about staking, also let me know in the comment section. I'll see if there's anything there to make a video on. Cheers.